Hello everyone, Ravi here from Lama Index. Welcome to another video on uh, implementing a query engine using workflows. So previously we have seen uh, citation query engine and uh, sub question query engine implementations with uh, uh, workflows. Uh, here we'll see JSON Analyze uh, query engine implementation using workflows. So what is the use of uh, JSON Analyze uh, query engine basically? So often uh, you might receive uh, uh, responses from APIs uh, uh, by calling some APIs in the form of a JSON object, right? Uh, like let's say, for example, uh, if you go down, so here is some uh, example like, yeah, there is name, age, major, email address, city, and various other details in a, a single JSON object. And then uh, you have uh, multiple of these outputs. So you have all these uh, uh, outputs or the responses coming from several APIs. And then now, you want to analyze on top of this uh, JSON list, right? So uh, how can you do that? So uh, JSON analyze query engine will help you to do that. Um, so well, how is the process? So what we essentially do is uh, we'll dump this JSON list into a SQLite uh, table uh, and then on top of that, um, you pass the query, whatever the query is there that you need to perform on this JSON list, you pass the query to the uh, SQLite table and then generate a response. Under the hood, uh, you basically create an SQLite table and uh, you then convert this, whatever the query the user asks into a uh, SQL query based on the schema of the table. And uh, once you pass uh, the query to the SQL table, get a response, you then uh, pass it to LLM again to uh, make a, a proper response uh, that can be sent to the user, right? So this is how a JSON allies uh, query engine works. Uh, let's give a quick walkthrough of it, how you can implement uh, the same with the workflow, right? So here there are two events, uh, uh, JSON analyzer and then synthesize. So basically JSON analyzer, what it uh, does is it is a start event. So it uh, basically sets up an in-memory SQLite database, uh, loads whatever JSON data is there and then generates a SQL query based on the user query uh, using LLM and then executes the uh, generated SQL query on the SQLite database and whatever the result is there uh, along with the SQL query and the table schema, it will be sent to the synthesize event. In the synthesize event, it will take all these results and uh, then generate a uh, human readable answer. So these are the two events present. Um, and then, so we'll define a JSON analyzer event here. Uh, it has the output as SQL query, table schema, and the results, right? So let's uh, get through it. Uh, we define we'll define a default response synthesizer prompt template as well. So given a query synthesizes a response based on the SQL query results. So here is the SQL query table schema and SQL response and uh, a normal query and then you generate a response accordingly, right? So we'll keep a default table name as items as well. Another prompt that is used during JSON analyze uh, uh, event is the default JSON analyze prompt template. So given a user query based on the table schema and the query, it will generate a SQL query. This you'll use uh, an LLM to generate the SQL query, right? So here is the workflow. So you have JSON analyzer uh, query engine workflow, and then you get the input, uh, the query, the LLM, and the table. The table name is the default uh, uh, table name items, and then uh, list of dig, which is the JSON list. And then the prompt is default JSON analyze prompt. Okay, you create an in-memory SQLite database. Then you send the prompt, which is default uh, JSON analyze uh, prompt, and then table name, schema, and the query to get the uh, the default SQL query, right? And then um, so this is what like uh, you have SQL query, table uh, schema, and the results, right? Um, and then you get it to synthesize. Uh, part which has LLM and then uh, query and the default synthesis prompt uh, send it to the SQL query the table schema and the results and generate a response accordingly right so here is an example uh, with the different JSON list and some queries uh, accordingly to uh, experiment so 
let me quickly uh, run this uh, notebook here so uh, here we will uh, run through the notebook uh, we'll need to set up the api key and then uh, uh, define the event and then uh, set up the prompt templates and then uh, default table name and create the workflow and get the json list define the llm which is 3.5 and run the workflow and we have this uh, simple question what is the maximum age among the individuals okay so yeah and gave answer the maximum age among the individuals is 35 and similarly yeah how many individuals have an occupation related to uh, science or engineering and it says zero um, let's have how many individuals have a phone number starting with yeah plus one two three four there are two individuals it seems right so this way you can uh, run through all the examples and get a response internally it will uh, use the sql light uh, in memory database and then uh, go through the all the event process uh, that i have explained and get an answer accordingly so uh, go through this notebook uh, that's all i have for this video uh, see you in the next video with a new implementation new query engine implementation with workflows thank you